It started in my hands, but then my wrists went real fast. My shoulders, they were very, very weak now too. In the morning, she dresses me because otherwise I'm just shot. He can do many things. He's very stubborn and likes to try to do everything himself, but he has a certain amount of reserve every day. We met in high school, so we were high school sweethearts, and we've been married 38 years, and they've been wonderful years. My hobby was um, being a fitness buff. When I started noticing, you know, I just I can't quite do as many reps lifting, and I couldn't go as, quite as many miles on the elliptical machine, you know, or, or on the bike, um, and I just thought it was age. And that's when I went, you know, to my um, physical therapist, and he he, he uh, says you get to a neurologist ASAP. Roger's been affected by ALS mainly in the strength of his arms. ALS is an adult onset disease affecting about 30,000 people in the United States. It causes severe weakness, um, leading to problems talking, problems swallowing, um, difficulty breathing, and difficulty moving the arms and legs. Roger's participating in the SOD1 Half-Life study and we're trying to understand how long this protein called superoxide dismutase 1, or SOD1, how long it hangs around in the cerebral spinal fluid. And the fluid that we get from this study, we'll be able to use this for a whole variety of different proteins to take a deeper dive into understanding ALS. And we also think developing markers for new drugs to understand whether or not they're working or not in a faster way than before. The only way that we're going to find a cure for ALS is to have brave volunteers who sign up for clinical trials. The only way that drugs are going to get tested, the only way to move forward, is to have people like Roger participate uh, in the trials. We feel like we've been very blessed to be in a community that has a strong faith. Yeah. Faith is how we get through it. It's our rock. I, I care and I want to help. Everybody here, I mean everybody cares about you and they they want to find a cure for this disease. It's just passionate. It's so obvious. When you get diagnosed with ALS, they give you no hope. There's no hope. But WashU gives you a little bit of hope because you know they're working hard and trying to find something that will either slow this disease or reverse it. And it won't help help me anymore, but it's, it's exciting to, you know, to so hopefully soon they can have a cure for ALS. And that's, that just makes me feel so good.